Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elodie, like Melody without the M from Elodie Scraps and Creations. So today we're going to continue making our Stamping Frenzy Ephemera Folder Folio thing. And what I wanted to do was little tabs. Um, when doing this type of folder, the problem is you're probably gonna buy more stamps. So your uh, where you put these labels, these tabs, it's gonna change, you know? So I wanted these to be able to move them. I wanted to be able to move them around, change my categories and everything. So I thought of making um, like a hidden altered paperclip tab like this. So for this, I've got some labels. I've written them down before. With my um, with this <laughs> crayon, uh, I will write them properly with my Tombow pens after. And we're using these. These are all leftovers from the pages that we've made for our folder. And they're the perfect colors, really. So we're going to use these. And my idea is just to make an altered paper clip and I want to leave a little bit of the paper clip at the top here so that it helps it from breaking or folding or something because this is gonna be outside our book it's gonna be like exposed in a way so I want it to be really really strong and I want the paper clip to be in there so what I'm going to do, first let's do this together. So I'm just going to grab a paper that I like, this one, love this one, so pretty. And I'm going to do it a little bit bigger than the paper clip and I'm just going to fold it in half like so and then I'm going to cut it. Next, if you have a tap punch, then good for you, <laughs> use it. Otherwise, I suggest using this. This is an envelope punchery thing. Um, not everybody has it. Otherwise, you can just cut with your scissors. What I used to do before this punch was just, I printed off a template or just wrote it, you know, from my phone, I just traced it and I just place it here and then I just cut around. So now with this really easy, we're gonna take the corner that's folded, we're gonna put it here and we're gonna punch it. And now we're gonna do it on the other side. So here you can tell where your page, where your page is according to the little metallic bit that's gonna chomp something off. So just put it exactly where you want it to be and just pinch it. Done. So that's one. So now we have two. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab some paper, scrap paper, and I'm going to cut, like I'm going to fold it about exactly almost the size as my paper clip. Just try to be straight. Okay. And then we're gonna cut it off. And this is not going to be visible. And then we're gonna cut off something a bit bigger than our paper clip. Just making a few. Okay. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it inside our paper clip. And I'm gonna put it here. Just 
little bit less and I might have to cut yeah just gonna cut a little bit here all right and then we're gonna glue this tacky glue just gonna so you need to make sure that this is not gonna go anywhere I'm gonna just put it here in the middle I'm gonna make sure that it's glued everywhere here at the front it's very important otherwise you know you might um, be impeded it's really important that everything is glued properly That looks good to me. Next one is the other side. If you're afraid, like me, that your uh, paper is going to get glue everywhere, just use some, let's just use this. Let's just put it there. Like this, the glue will go onto this paper instead of on the other side of your page. Okay, where is my card? Here. Just making sure the glue is everywhere. It's stuck properly. And that's it. All done. That's our paper clip. And it works. <laughs> and then we're just gonna glue our little labels. And I want to round the corners of my little labels because I'm a perfectionist. done all right so now you know how to do them i'm just gonna let you finish off by yourself i'm gonna do all of mine and i'm gonna put a little bit of music and put the uh i mean the speed up a little bit so you don't get bored all right see you guys in a minute um
Before I stick them back down like this, I thought I would decorate a little bit here so that, you know, this is going to be the visible part and not this. So I want this to be a little bit decorated. Um, yeah, so it's visible. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to put something under like this and then I'm going to match up some of them and we're going to decorate the top here for this one i'd like i'd like a light one i hope it's not gonna be this for all of them okay night is good maybe something that reminds us of the night about a moon on this side Awesome. And then I've got a bit of a star here that I quite like. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit, uh, make sure it doesn't get any smudged, and we're going to do the rest. Okay, next on um, this one, let's do the Asian one on this one, and I was thinking this little Asian cut thing. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, maybe, maybe I should do it the other way. I need to put something else. That's perfect. Okay, Asia. Next.
Now that they're all stamped, we're going to uh, glue the labels onto onto our labels, onto our tabs. Uh, it's really important that you wait for everything to dry, otherwise with the glue you might smudge everything and and then you would have to start over. And after this is done, we're gonna glue this here as we did before, as I showed you before. There, we can put a paper if we're not sure. And then just make sure it's glued. And that's it. So I'm gonna do this for all of them and and get back to you. <laughs> Let's, I'm just gonna go a bit faster. And I've got no more memory on my phone because of course I'm recording on my phone. So I'm not gonna be able to record all of this. Um, I hope you're for you'll forgive me. Uh, I've shown you how to do it, so I'll just show you how it looks in the end. All right, see you guys in a minute.